Okay, so I've just been given this drawing. My drawing, my template drawing is in metrics. So somebody sent me this uh, trying to set up their whole new drawing in back in their, in their Imperial. And uh, because my drawing is causing a few crashes for them, maybe for, for various reasons. So I'm going to have a look at this drawing and, and resolve the problem of what's happening. So if we hit one, we see that the level one, and if we hit two, we see the level two, uh, their second dimensions, second frames, but the walls have disappeared. Why? First thing I do is, this is my own code by the way down there, but I just split it into two uh, viewports so that I can make sure that the walls are actually on, etc. And that helps to uh, uh, test a few things. You can also click on the wall click back here and then right click and you can also see which display rep is happening here. Now what uh, this person has done is assigned the wall on level 2 to be on the 2. Now he's done an extra step that I don't do. Uh, this may exist in my template drawing but I can't get rid of it, sorry. but. It is actually useful in certain circumstances and is an alternative sort of an idea, but I don't use that. I don't need to create, uh, or I don't need to assign walls to have a separate display. They can simply just use this one, and I'll show you uh, what's happened. The only reason I use this one is for stairs to get them to display differently, and I think I could be even wrong there. So we're going to open the display manager again, my little shortcut there, but. You should know how to open the display manager. I'm going to go look down into the walls and I'm going to just open quickly stairs, jump over to stairs and you can see that presentation, presentation. So this is the set being used in the display and it's created two separate ones, which is what I do, but I only do this for stairs. And he is actually assigned under, wall, uh, under stairs to use a different, completely different display set for presentation two, which allows you a completely independent setting of the stair. I don't need to do that for walls, and I don't do it for walls, even though it was there in my drawing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is have a look here, and we've got presentation and presentation two. So this is the actual uh, wall, uh, presentation part object that I'm looking at for wall and display presentation. I don't need to click that, but it does need to be clicked there so that we just use the plan presentation for both. Okay, now you could actually do that, um, maybe, but I don't want to confuse you, but it's possible if you don't override the cut plane for walls like I'm about to show you how to do. Okay, so I'm just going to click here and say okay. Uh, now what's happened is that the walls have just shown up and that's because they're using plan presentation. So w what I'm trying to do in my system is to keep to out of the box as, as, uh, as much as possible and not do anything extra. Uh, that's about as simple as it gets. Um, now the, the other thing that I do do, I don't understand, I, I, Imperial confuses me I don't know why this is set. This seems to be set massively high in the air. And if we hit one, then we're down at zero. We're down at zero. So uh, I don't know why two is up at what I would expect, around nine feet. And so I would expect generally, if we go to wall style, now there's no style override set, which is correct. I override styles for cupboards and things that I need to do specific cut planes with, but your uh, if we ha go back and have a look in, display, in configurations, you've got your presentation and your presentation too. I don't know, I don't understand why that is so high in the air. I think that's wrong, and I think he's probably left that out of frustration because it would, wasn't working. Three, what you would do is when you're setting your floor level, if I go floor level query, uh, question mark, and that's my little list program there, uh, it tells me that his second level is a, a 108. I assume that's inches. Uh, so 
what we need to do is we need to work out where our cut plane is appropriate for our first rule. We add the change from that level to that level as the cut plane for the second level. I hope that makes sense. So if we go back into display, configuration, for that it's three foot. We add to that for the next level, we add the change in floor level, the rise floor from one floor to the next. And that's that's all we need to do. Uh, I'll read that because it confuses me. Uh, okay, now go back in, going back to the, uh, the wall style, uh, he hasn't overridden what is, which is what I showed. Now that means that the wall will follow the global cut plane. All right. Now that's possible that that may work. What this does actually allows you to put walls at different levels. So for example, at if I have a wall next door, I'm going to have a look at this here, and I raise that by, and I'm going to use this logic method because I'm confused because I'm an imperial file. Oh, let's, let's put it right up there. I need to unclick that to stop the snapping. Okay, now this is happening because he is mucked up with, uh, uh, these all look pretty, so I, I still don't quite always understand all these, but uh, shrink wrap hat to below cut plane. I'm just going to turn this off for just a sec. Uh, shrink wrap and shrink wrap hatch. Okay, so it all disappears, and that's because it's going to the global cut plane. If I change this to say, let's see if I can guess this. If I'm uh, what, 15 feet? Is that 18 feet? Okay. So obviously what I've done now is I've hit the cut plane through where this is, uh, but it doesn't hit this one. Now what's happening is that these walls are both obeying the global cut plane. And if you have walls on, say, A level, that are at different heights, uh, sometimes you can use the, the extend down, you know, you can put them all at zero and extend them up and that. Uh, sometimes if you've, say, got a split level house, it's good to actually put this at the other level. And then all of a sudden your cut planes are all not working. So what I do is I override the glo this, this global cut plane. And I put my own plane, I'm, I'm going to put, say, five. And what happens is that both of them show up because both of them are using their own zero line and they're no longer following the global cut plane. Global cut plane is still useful for other objects, but for walls, I've found this to be the best way to do it, and it's the way that I've structured my lisp. Actually, no, my lisp doesn't have too much to do with it. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so hopefully that's that's clear uh, what you need to do. So you've, you've made a few changes uh, that are not necessary. You don't need that. Good luck on trying to delete it. I was never able to, which is probably why it's still in my template. Override the cut plate. Now override the cut plate for all walls. There's no style override. So this will apply to every wall, which means that every wall will obey. Now the display of the wall is now controlled by your layering system. So if it's on two wall, it means you want it on because it's on level two. Regardless of how high it is in the air, if you've got it at 27, for some reason there's no other level, you still want it to show up, then you've got all those opportunities to make it show up it doesn't matter, it's no longer following the global cut plane, it's following its own cut plane. So I, I hope that's clear. Um, so now we can we can hit one. Now remember, uh, in my new Lisp, if, if you haven't got the latest version of my Lisp, I, I, cha I added this, I think I've still got the original, but you, you no longer need to hit level one. You can just hit two. You can hit double one for uh, the medium detail, so construction drawings. Uh, two, you haven't got it. Uh, but I've uh, created, uh, so you've created the presentation too, which is which is correct. I create uh, that and reflect it as the only three that I use, generally speaking, uh, f uh, specifically for you know floor plans, and I can flip between those very easily uh, just by hitting the number. And there's nothing else I'd use the number for, so it works really well. I hope that's very clear. Uh, you were very close. Cheers.